I'm John Jamison from Diesel Care Australia. Today I'm here at our Toowoomba shop where I'm just going to show you some of the research and development that we do when we're manufacturing a new filter kit for a diesel four-wheel drive with a common rail engine. Out there there's a, two fairly commonly asked questions that we get. One is, should I put on a primary kit or a secondary kit? And the second question is, will a secondary kit with a two micron filter restrict my fuel flow? Well, we're about to show you that that's not the case. I have set up here a couple of filters and we're gonna do some dyno testing. Now, the first dyno test will be just run solely through the original filter on the vehicle. And here we will check the return flow on this particular test. Then we'll stop the vehicle and we'll connect up this filter. So we have the original filter plus a two micron filter. We'll run exactly the same test again and then we will check the return flow here as well. Here we also have a vacuum gauge, which is also teed into the dyno. So we can check the vacuum right at the common rail pump. So we can then show you, does this or does this not create too much restriction? For the first test, we're running the fuel from the fuel tank through the original vehicle filter and straight to the fuel pump as the vehicle comes from the factory. We have teed in this blue line, which is gonna give us vacuum to this vacuum gauge and also to the dyno so we can check it on a graph later. With this line here, we're going to be checking the return flow. So we can check exactly how much return flow there is for one full run on the dyno. While this test's happening, the, the vehicle will be run at its full load from 40 kilometres an hour in top gear right through to 120 kilometres. Okay, Niles, when you're ready. Okay, that completes the first test. Now what we're going to do is we're going to join this filter into the system, which is a two micron secondary filter. It'll be plumbed after the original filter. Then we'll run exactly the same test again, where we can check the overflow and the vacuum, the same as we just done with this test. Okay, we're now set up with the secondary filter in line. We're going to carry out the same test. Okay, Niles. Okay, you can see there that our return fuel, which is the excess fuel that the pump is not using, that normally goes back to the tank, is unchanged with that extra two micron filter in the system. You may not have been able to notice, but the vacuum on the gauge was also slightly more, but certainly well within a, a really safe specification. Okay, let's go and check out the results on the dyno. Let's look at the dyno results. This top graph, that's the power of this vehicle at the back wheels on the dyno. This bottom line here, that's the vacuum or the restriction right at the injector pump. Now, an injector pump like this, which is like the one fitted to this vehicle, is capable of sucking a vacuum right down to around 15 or 16. So you can see between the pre-run, which is the blue one, and then the second run, which is the red one with the two micron filter, the restriction is absolutely minimal probably something similar to having a very slightly blocked filter. And you can also see on the top one that the power has followed one another. So we've created no power loss and very minimal restriction in the fuel system with this two micron filter kit. Now to emphasize the point, we're gonna do probably a little something just outside the square. We're gonna add another two micron filter. Yes, we wouldn't do this in real life, but this is just for testing. We're gonna have two two micron filters as well as the original factory filter in line. Now this is the original tube of fuel that I've left there, but I've emptied that one out 
So now we can also test the return fuel as well as the vacuum when we do this third test. Okay, Niles. Okay, once again, you can see no change in the return fuel. So even with two 2 micron filters, we are not restricting it so that there's not enough fuel running through that pump to go back to the tank. Let's go and have a look and see what's happened on the dyno as well. All right, let's look at the dyno results again. This time, the dark blue one is the last run we've just done. As you can see, the horsepower again unchanged. Down here, the vacuum, blue one, ever so slightly more. Now this is with three filters, remember. This is not what you would do in normal life, but we've done this just to prove to you that these extra two micron filters create almost no restriction in the system and therefore will not do any damage to your common rail system. Okay, so that concludes the test. But at this time, I would like to just point out, using this cutaway of our filter, that no filter is infallible and some liquids will get through, like petrol, for instance. So there's no perfect filter system. However, our two micron filter, as you can see, does not create any restriction, but will give you a premium protection of your common rail system. I hope this test today has proven to you that a two micron filter in your system will not cause you any problem. So the decision is yours. Do you go a primary kit or a secondary kit? Both kits are good and good protection for your vehicle. However, we've proven here today that a two micron filter will not hurt your system and it is the diesel care premium protection for your common rail diesel. Thanks for sharing with us today. If you would like some more information, please check us out on our website, which is www.dieselcare.com.au or feel free to call any of us, ask for any information. But I'm sure that Diesel Care has a diesel care kit that will fit your common rail diesel.